Okay guys, I'm going to make some homemade chicken pot pie. I'm going to use this uh, Myers brand mix. It's kind of like um, red lobster, but it's not. So I got the mix in there and I'm putting in two cups of water. I bought a rotisserie chicken, which I'm shredding in the kitchen. So this needs to be totally mixed up. Because of course it's going to go over the top of everything. Got a can of cream of chicken, got some chicken broth, and of course I told you I bought this. And then I'll head into the kitchen. I'm in the dining room. It's like if you take out the island, it'd be one room. Okay, well, let that set. Okay, I already have my oven heating up. You put a, a stick of butter in the bottom. They say melt it. I'm not going to. I'm going to shred the rest of my chicken. And I'm going to put that in here, and then I'll do the next step. I got all the chicken in there. I guess some people would use two rotisserie chickens. I used one. I think that's funny. $6.99. I'm going to put on some vegetables. Um, I cut up some potatoes and um, carrots, and I'm going to put in a can of peas. And right there's my mess with cats. I got two cans of chicken broth and a can of cream of mushroom soup I'm going to mix together. I've already got the milk with the biscuit mix, mix for the top. This holds like three cups, so I got two in here. Okay, I used a regular can of Meyer's Sweet Peas. And right here I get all my potatoes and carrots in my handy dandy machine right here. And it says, you know you want to mix it, just don't mix it up. You're not supposed to mix any of this. You're supposed to just pour it in and cook. So we're going to see how this turns out. This is my first time doing it like this. I've made um, pot pies before, but not like this. So not with the biscuit mix. I've done it with fresh vegetables before. But I'm trying to get them all in here. So there's the carrots. I'm not mixing it. I'm just lay layering the stuff so it's layered evenly. And then we're going to pour on the biscuit mix, which I got right here. So let me just set my fork aside for a minute. And still, you can't mix it. Don't mix it up. This is kind of an awkward container I'm holding on to here. But I'm going to pour it all over. And then I'm going to get a... Um, Spatula thing and fix it. Okay, I took my chicken broth, two cups of chicken broth, and my can of cream of chicken soup, and I whisked it together. My oven is at 350, and we're supposed to cook this for 45 minutes. And still, do not stir, just evenly put this in so you can, so it can cook. Just do it all over, and do not stir. Everybody wants to stir, but you're not supposed to do this recipe. So, it's going in the oven, guys. Let's see what happens. It's all set and ready to go. Okay, going in the oven, 45 minutes. Slam that bugger. Okay, 45 minutes. Oops, there we go. Okay, it just came out of the oven. I left it in for an hour and five minutes because I had fresh vegetables, so they had to be fully cooked. So far it looks good. Let's do a taste testing. There it is. I'm going to taste test it. Right there, it's got some peas, chicken. Yeah, look, the soup one's for tomorrow. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll eat that in Carrots. Really good. The chicken out here just tastes really good. There you go, guys. Delicious. Homemade chicken pot pie. Okay. You pray for me, I pray for you, pray for the world. Bye, guys.